If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my channel. I post a new video every day at 9. Hit me up on Instagram. I answer all my DMs. Isaac Gomez with four Zs. Jumping right into this, you guys. You probably saw the title of this video and you're like, sprawl defense. Like, sprawling is a deep. Like, sprawling is a defense. Like, what are you talking about? Alright, so I'm going to tell you guys what to do when you shoot on someone and you start to get overextended, alright? Like, like when you, when, when your chest starts going past your knee, okay? And your other leg can't follow, okay? Once your, once your chest gets past your front knee and you don't have your other leg following, then you're getting sprawled on, alright? This is really bad news. If you're not driving forward with power, if you can't drive forward with power, and like it's effective power, you know what I mean? Like, like if someone's sprawling really well, just running straight forward is not the most effective. That's not the path of least resistance, okay? Right, ideally you set them up and you can just run through them, flare the, like, you know what I mean? Pick them up, flare the legs, or do whatever you want with like speed and power so that like you get them down. But if you start getting stretched out and they sprawl on you, all right, what you do, I see kids stay like this for way too long, way too long. All right, even they, like, they'll even have like a tiny little base, right? And they'll just be stretched out and have hands on the butt and just be trying to like run straight forward, okay? What you do, and this works on the best people, all right? This works on the best people. And this is so stupid simple. It just, you have to be an athlete and you have to do it hard. You have to hit it hard, okay? You just run in a circle like a madman. Okay, like an animal, you run in a circle. Pick one way and you just go that way. You just one foot in front of the other, do, 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 around the mat. And all right, and I, in the highest levels, when somebody is sprawling, they are pushing your head down, picking an arm up, and they're they're trying to circle faster than you can to turn you. Okay, this is a super easy turn. It's called a cow catcher. And it works on, it works at the highest level because when you're shooting and your arms are in front of you, it's real easy to pick up an elbow. It's real easy to lift an elbow when somebody's like, like you know what I mean? When someone's like really trying to, to like lock those legs in. If you sprawl and you get them a little bit extended, you can, like, you can pick up an el elbow circle and like you'll just, they'll, they'll just go on there, they'll just pin themselves, okay? When you're overextended, you wanna be circling in the opposite way, okay? You wanna be circling, like, like if they're trying to pick up your right elbow, you wanna be circling to the left, ideally. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't, I haven't done this live live in a while. So like, if they're circling, if they're trying to pick up your elbow and go to the left, you wanna circle to the right. You wanna try and circle faster than they can, so that what circling does, like when you're on, when you're in negative position, right? When you're sprawled on, when you're beneath someone and you're stretched out, you're in negative position. They're in positive position. When somebody sprawls on you and you can't, that you haven't finished your takedown yet, you're still in negative position. Okay, so this means this is bad. This is bad news. You don't want to stay here. You want to move forward. All right. You can't stay here for long because, like, you don't want to stay here for long. What you want to do is run to the opposite way of their spinning, okay? So that, cause like if you run the way that they are, it's just gonna help them pick up your elbow and turn you, okay? So you need to pick a side and run that way like a madman, all right? And what this does is it, like whatever you have, whatever, like if you're holding on to their butt and you start circling to the side, you're gonna be able to get that grip deeper. You're gonna be able to, whatever control you're going for, it's gonna get deeper, the, the harder and the, the closer you get. You know what I mean? The closer your hips get to theirs, the uh, you know what I mean? The the, the more the, the the deeper the the grip will be. Okay. If you start seeing your plan A in a shot not working, and you get sprawled on, and you're starting to get overextended, you need to one foot in front of the other, run in a circle. Okay. And this will almost always take down your opponent. This will almost like. I'm telling you, unless unless they pick up your elbow, or yeah, unless they pick up your elbow and circle the other way, or I mean, like, like I can't think of any other way to turn someone off of a sprawl, right? Other than pushing the head down, picking up the elbow, and like either way, if you do it from the outside or elbow to elbow, like, like you're just trying to lift that elbow up. All right, guys, I almost forgot this one really important thing. All right, when you're shooting and someone's sprawling on you, all right, the worst thing that can happen to you is if somebody, it's called a three-quarter Nelson, all right? They're gonna push your head down and try to bring your arm over like this, all right? 
So it's that that's like really like that's real bad position. And I mean if someone can push your head down and then bring your arm over like this, this is terrible. Alright, this is terrible. Alright, so when you're sprawled out, you gotta watch for that. And circling defends that as well. Alright? This is just an afterthought, like I'm editing right now. But remember that. Alright? You don't wanna get three-quarter Nelson. That's real bad news. Really, really bad news. Alright, I'm trying to think of like if you can like grab an angle off of a sprawl. I don't think that would be that like like some people do, but it's just like stupid. Like in my opinion, I just causes a scramble when like it, like if you're grabbing an ankle grabbing an ankle is last resort that's just grabbing an ankle is going for a scramble okay maybe like locking around some people like to lock around the lock around the hips I don't know, like that, that's a weird one too like when somebody tell me if you guys have an answer to this when you're sprawling and somebody locks around your hips like this right just imagine somebody's basically got their hands on your nuts all right, this has happened to me a few times, all right, right? Like behind your butt and just like underneath. And they got a lock on your hips and they're sprung. All right, and they try to pick you up, all right? I'm trying to think, what would I do? Like, what, like, like, I guess you would try to like, you would try to like scissor your legs to like break the lock and just like keep on driving. I'm not sure, if you guys have an answer to this, this is like, I'm having abstract thoughts. I'm sure if I have a, if I had a partner right now, I'd like remember what to do. But I think like like if somebody's got their hands wrapped around your your hips, right, and they're trying to pick you up, like 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 you're deep in on a shot, and they're trying to pick you up and push you this way, right? They're trying to pick you up and like. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Tell me in the comments. What do you guys think? All right, but if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out my channel, hit me up on Instagram, but until next time, I'll see you guys.